since the last time, because most of the time between our last meeting and this one has been a no-change window from Linden Lab's point of view. Uh, okay. Um, so um, let's see. So the current crop of viewers has not really changed significantly. Uh, we have the EAP and Bakes on Mesh project viewers out there. Both are still getting some work. Uh, Bakes on Mesh has some has some bugs that need to be fixed, and EEP is still trying to sneak in the last couple of features, notably atmospherics, um, but uh, and some better editing, better environment editing interfaces. So those are coming along. Uh, I expect both of them to be competing for release slots uh, very soon. Uh, the bug splat viewer is doing well enough, uh, and we're getting enough ex enough hours on it that um, it will probably be um, uh, eligible for promotion real soon. Also, the estate management, um, the enhanced estate management viewer is out there and doing very well. Uh, no reason not to promote that. Um, and uh, the Rendering viewer that's out needs an update, and um, that we'll be getting that sometime real soon now. So, lots going on, uh, but nothing, no really, no viewer releases uh, really imminent. Um, so, uh, that that is. Promotions will probably have updates to some of the RCs and project viewers over the next week or two, uh, but I don't expect I don't expect a new default viewer for uh, a little while yet. So um, the floor is open. Uh, uh, a warning: it, I'm waiting for a phone call from a vet. I may have to interrupt myself to answer the phone and talk to them for a little bit at some point soon. So. Yes, I hope so too, uh, but we really don't know. <laughs> uh, so, working on that. Um, so I may have to interrupt you for that uh, if that comes. There's nobody here to answer the phone except me. So, what have we got today? Anything? Discussions? Topics?
Uh, yeah, I can I can do crash stats. If I get a chance, I'll do them before I leave for my vacation uh, in a couple of hours. If not, um, I will do them as soon as I get back. So it would be a week from Monday. But I've cued myself a reminder for that. Yeah, uh, going to sit on a beach and drink drinks with fruit in them and that sort of thing. Yeah, I know. It's weird timing, but that's just the way it worked out. <laughs> Squeezing in three days of work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely umbrellas. Flowers and things. Uh, also, we got we got uh, some nice contributions upstream um, over the over the break from a couple of people. Thank you very much. We are busily getting those integrated, so they will appear in a main viewer soon. I hope. Keep those coming. Like them. Uh, actually, we've stopped doing debug builds, which means that they inevitably break. Um, we just decided that uh, well with deb info was good enough, and it speeded up our builds quite a bit to not do the third build. So um, we've we've essentially deprecated debug. Oh. Well, with Deb info is not building? Uh, well, it builds for me. <laughs> um, there, it might be it might be that the code is sufficiently different when uh, when some com some difference between the CMake switches in the open source builds and the ones in our builds. may make some code unreachable. The way, our, the way our build farm builds work is we do both a release build and a rel with deb info build on every build, and uh, uh, every, every time we do anything, um, and run all the tests. <laughs> uh, so, uh, If if the build appears to be broken, it's some difference between our environment and yours.
Uh, we've already moved our builds to 10.12. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I don't know if our production builds are 10.12. The developers mostly are on 10.12 now. Uh, the texture memory, we have another branch where we're redoing the, uh, essentially most of the texture fetching pipeline, um, which has been kind of on the back burner for a while. Uh, we, we're changing texture fetching in, in some ways. Um, some of those changes are not finished yet. And we're, <clears throat> in fact, they're broken. Um, but we've also revamped how the cache works uh, and and what stage we cache the data in. And um, that viewer has some changes to how we handle texture memory. So I expect that that will um, start moving again very soon. Uh, I've got somebody assigned to that. Um, let's... Uh, also going to be out next week, but um, after that, I expect to start seeing some movement on on that front. If we can fix the bugs in the fetching part, then uh, which I'm sure we can, it's just a question of spending time on it. Uh, then um, I hope that that will that will get out into um, an RC viewer uh, sometime in the next several weeks. Anyway, um, so. Uh, the hope is that the cache will be both more reliable and uh, the code is substantially simpler and should be faster as well. Uh, it stores the it, it stores the decoded data, not the the JPEG too. In a in a form more readily loaded to the to the, to the video card. It's one of the improvements. So uh, that will be interesting to see. 
I think we're also going to experiment with using HTTP2 to do the fetching again. We tried that once earlier, and it didn't work out very well, but we've got much newer versions of the HTTP2 code now, uh, and maybe it'll work. Yeah. Um, so we're hoping that those things will make textures faster. Right. It it doesn't it doesn't change the memory requirement because it's the decoded memory. It's the decoded data that's in the resident memory. Yeah. It turns out that actually one of the because of the complexity of the way the cache is organized in the current code, one of the major components of the performance of the cache is waiting for ATEX locks to keep consistency of different files together. So we've tried to eliminate that. So it'll be interesting. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure back we'll we'll look at that. Right, well, we're trying to get to the point where cash clearing doesn't need to happen this often.
Thanks. We'll certainly have a look at that. So, any other topics? I could use the extra half hour to wrap up before my vacation. All right, I'll go do those. Uh, I'll do go do those crash stats for you. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>